friends, welcome back to Living a Country. I'm Holly, and today we have another beautiful farmhouse styled home to tour today. And you guys are gonna be leaving today's video feeling refreshed, feeling great, and feeling just excited about the home that you are in. My friend Colleen is all about loving the home you are in and styling your home with meaning, and I so appreciate that. I so love that. And so you guys are just going to really feel inspired uh, before you leave on today's video. So I have Colleen's Instagram account and the links in the bio so you guys can go check her out over at the Cassidy House. And she has her coffee already. I'm gonna grab my drink and share it with you guys today and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So today I'm drinking my Bellway Fiber Supplement in the mixed berry flavor which is super, super yummy and actually really refreshing. They also have two other flavors which is the lemon lime as well as the raspberry lemon. Haven't tried the raspberry lemon but it sounds super, super yummy. And Bellway actually helps with relieving bloating, it helps with gut health and having a healthy heart and weight management which has been something I've been working on personally in my life and all I'm doing is they have packets for individual servings which is an option to get as well as if you want to get the middle bottle which is a 50 serving where you actually spoon it in which was my first purchase ever and you add room temperature water and you stir it until it is a good texture and not too thick. And if it's too thick, you just add a little bit more water. You're gonna wanna drink this right away and it's actually really, really yummy. And I wanna thank Bellway for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I do have a 25% off coupon in the links down below if you guys wanna try it too. Okay friends, I have my drink all ready to go. I'm so excited to watch Colleen's video today. I obviously have already watched it, but you guys, I really enjoy watching these videos with you all. The reason why I have these home tours on my channel is because personally, I thought it was something that was missing off of YouTube, was seeing people's homes and having a channel where there's multiple home tours and that you can get inspired with the same type of style but slightly variated. Like everybody has their own styles of farmhouse. And so I personally love watching them and getting inspired by them. And so I wanted to bring that to this channel. So I would love to know in the comment section down below, what are you guys drinking today? I know Colleen's drinking a coffee today and I always love, I always mix things up, but sometimes I have my Dr. Pepper. Sometimes I have, um, there's like this mix from Walmart. It's like, um, like a raspberry lemonade. It's I think it's great value or crystal light or something, but I love drinking that. I've got my built bar. It's like a premix too. It's similar to that too, but they've got like root beer flavor and tropical. Uh, did I say Dr. Pepper already? Cause I love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, that's like my treat. And I love having my fiber drink by Bellway. I'm a customer of theirs. I actually found them from my friend, Carla McKenzie, she just shares the coolest things on her Instagram and her YouTube channel, but she's got awesome grocery hauls, but she just shares like the coolest snacks all the time. I'll leave her YouTube channel in the description box below, but she shares just so many cool things and this was one of them. So anyways, let's go ahead and visit my friend Colleen's home today. You guys are just gonna love it. And I am so, so excited. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Colleen Cassidy from the Cassidy House on Instagram, and I'm about to show you around my house. As we go, I want you, this is Chip, <laughs> the star of the Cassidy House. As we go around, I want you to remember that real people live here, that this is really a space where myself, my husband Jonathan, and Chip, we all reside. So my goal at the Cassidy House is that you would find attainable home decor for a normal human. And my ultimate dream in life would be to help people take the things that they already have, whether it's a decor item or a piece of furniture or something that they've bought over the years that they've loved and haven't known what to do with. My goal would be to help them put it together in a cohesive way that makes the room and the space inviting and cozy and welcoming and homey and all the things that people want their homes to be. So if you were really coming over to the Cassidy house, I would pour a cup of coffee for you and for me and we'd hang out. So I have some hazelnut <laughs> and a Ray Dunn cheers mug. Do you have yours? Let's get started. Okay, I'm starting you outside because I wanted to show you um, a new plan that we have. So this is our house. We think it's the cutest. But when we bought it, we knew that the roof was old and would need to get replaced. So 
we also knew that we refused to go into debt over anything. So we saved and saved and we have enough money to buy a roof. But what I also did, or what we also did, is we saved enough money to build a little portico. So pretty soon, our next project, we're gonna add some columns here. We're gonna add a portico that will um, have some covering. I'm imagining a shiplap wood ceiling with a nice light hanging underneath it. Um, and I'm excited to style that space. So here's the outside of our house. We have some beautiful hydrangea bushes. We found this um, rocking chair on the side of the road. <laughs> Picked it up, put it on the front steps. I kill everything that's really alive. Exhibit A is that plant, which is why exhibit B is this plant. Jonathan made that for our anniversary one year. Um, he's very talented. So let's go in. All right, welcome. So this entryway um, mirror and shelf are from Hobby Lobby. The vases are from the Magnolia line at Target. The floor creaks and this puppy sleeps. So here's our living room. We were originally drawn to this house not only for the location and the neighborhood, but we loved these built-ins. So when we originally bought the house, that fireplace was red brick and the um, cover or the door was a brassy metal. So the first project we did in the house was to whitewash the fireplace and to spray the, the brass with um, some high heat rustoleum to make the fireplace a really bright space that popped. I was a little bit overwhelmed at first with thinking about how to style these shelves. Um, shelves can be really overwhelming, right? And so I realized that I could work in with the triangle rule. So I learned, if you can see, there's greenery here, greenery here, greenery here. And if you draw a line to all of those objects or draw a line connecting all of those objects, you would have a triangle. So you can do that um, on each shelf. You can do that from shelf to shelf and you can do that as a whole. So another example would be the um, elephants, the ceramic elephants. If I drew a line over to the ceramic pot and then down to the jar, that would also create a triangle. So um, it's just pleasing to the eye is what I learned. I love to add personal touches to our home. So family pictures aren't for everyone, but they definitely are for us. We love to add um, personal pictures and we change those out quite often. Um, Jonathan, my husband, is a car man, so some trucks for him and some pigs for me. <laughs> um, we have a Jeep grill on the mantle. The other day I was tutoring someone and she said, excuse me, Chippy's mom, uh, why is there a robot in your house? I said, a robot? She said, yeah, that's a robot. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I should explain that it's the front of a Jeep. Anyway. These are just some personal touches that we love. Um, I spent some time in Africa, and so those elephants I bought a long time ago to remind me of that time. Um, our house we bought in 2019. Jonathan put together that um, floral arrangement for me. It's a, it's a mimic, I guess, of our um, wedding flowers. So, beautiful space that we love. And... Then we have the TV console. We were gifted this as well. Um, I just recently put these, I put some peel and stick wallpaper on them to cover up, or on the doors to cover up the gray, um, the glass. And I'm not sure I like it, but it'll stay for now. I like to change things often. We spray painted those knobs. And then we have this beautiful rug. I'm gonna open you up to the couch. This is probably the most asked about thing in my house is this couch. This is the Radley sectional from Macy's. We got it in the cover in the color Heavenly Mocha Gray. Um, most of my pillows came from Home Goods. Some came from Target, and I got a couple of um, covers from Amazon. But we were actually gifted three parts of this couch, um, and then we found one random loner space on Facebook Marketplace and we bought two of the other ones. Um, we love how comfy this couch is. We love the way it frames the space. Um, it's been a really great 
part of our home. And then we have this shelf back here I just wanted to show you. It's holding my computer and my sunglasses, sorry. I told you real people live here. But we found a bookcase on the side of the road and we made it, by we I mean Jonathan, made it into a shelf that just goes behind the couch so you can put like a cup or whatever down. Our pictures are from Smallwoods. Well, they're from our wedding, but we bought the, <laughs> we bought prints of them on Smallwoods. And the books, I love the, I love the idea of old books, so I just took books that I had and stained the outside of them with tea. Um, and the curtains, I got a major clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond. So, your house doesn't have to cost a million trillion dollars in order to look beautiful. All right, heading into the kitchen. This space has transformed so much since we've moved in. So when we first got this house, it was a bright yellow kitchen. And we um, painted it Revere Pewter as soon as we moved in, or as soon as we bought it, actually, even before we moved in. And then in quarantine, we decided to shiplap the walls. So over here in the Eden area, we've shiplapped everything. Um, it's painted alabaster white. That's another home uh, small wood sign, the come as you are one. We painted this um, buffet table I found on the side of the road. <laughs> um, we painted it with chalk paint. We spray painted the windows black, they used to be white. And then we also put um, electrical tape window panes on there. So these are not real. Oh, I just spilled all of Chip's water, sorry. Um, these are not real window panes. These, this is electrical tape you can see because it's contracted or expanded based on the heat. Um, but we wanted to see the way that they looked before we invested in buying things with panes. And so I think we like them. And honestly, for now, the electrical tape works. So good enough. Um, we made some drop cloth curtains and we bought PVC pipe to hang them on. It's like, they're a little bit too heavy for them. So I would recommend if you're gonna do that, we did, we just bought white PVC pipe and we spray painted it, but I would recommend if you're gonna do that to buy something a little bit stronger. We also, going around this way, um, we spray painted this slider door, which I really like as well. Now, this side of the kitchen, we got to talk about. There's my cup of coffee, I told you, I'm bringing it around. Um, I don't love this cabinet above here, but for now, it works for us um, in a dream world where we do a kitchen remodel eventually. We'll probably get rid of it. No, we'll definitely get rid of it. But I um, did some faux wall, brick wallpaper in here. Um, and yeah, it's been, I mean, this kitchen works for us. It's great space, these cute little shelves. Jonathan hung this, um, this light above the sink. We did the same spray painting over there. So this has been space that we've really enjoyed. And then we'll go outside. So again, we found, <laughs> have you noticed a trend here? I find things on the side of the road. We found this table down the street from us. Um, just somebody had left it out and said it was free. And so we walked it home with the help of some pals. It's a beautiful space. We love eating out here. Um, we have some, we have a whole fenced in yard, which is great for chip um, and space for more. We're doing some landscaping work um, over there and a fire pit and a kiddie pool that Chip hates. So, all right. Oh, I forgot to tell you more about the kitchen. Okay, let me tell you. Now, this floor, peel and stick tiles. Thought I was gonna love it. I do not, which is why, like I told you, we are real people and we stopped. <laughs> you can see it's just like not finished because I don't wanna continue because I would like it gone. So we'll see what plays out with that. We did ship lap this end cap and took off the baseboards, which we haven't completed, but I added a wreath to make myself feel better. So here's the kitchen space, some details here. These were a wedding gift. I forget where they're from, but Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel 
Um, these were the centerpieces at our wedding, so we just kept one. And I get asked a lot about this coffee um, mug hook, and we got that on Etsy, but very easy to make if you wanted to make it yourself. So, as we go around the house, this entryway table I found on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> I guess you're getting my trend now. And I sanded it and stained it. Um, I love, like I told you, to add those personal details. So we have things like our wedding unity candle, one of my favorites from our engagement session. And then um, this is our wedding program, which was super cool and fun. And Jonathan built this light or this lamp out of a camshaft from a car. And this kid is still so sleepy. Chippy, you wanna come with me? No, definitely not, Mom, I do not. Okay. Um, one other thing that I get asked a lot about is the basket wall. So I'm gonna zoom you out for a minute so that you can see. I just tried to create like a cohesive look when you look at this wall. And I was a little bit intimidated by how expensive baskets can be and like that was unexpected for me. So instead I used chargers. So these are um, these are just chargers that you would put a plate on from Target. The smaller one is from Amazon. And I just spaced them out here and here. So I like the way that looks. All right, entering the dining room, my new favorite space. So this rug is from Boutique Rugs. We had bought it from our for our bedroom, but it didn't work there. And we found this table, again, for free, obviously. <laughs> um, sanded it down, stained it with a weathered oak, and um, Jonathan went in and added the detail here. This was not here when we first found the table, but these grooves, which I really, I think adds so much beauty to this table and also around here. This was lipped like this, but he just made it a little bit more noticeable. And we spray painted all the chairs black. So did a lot of work um, to make this table what we wanted and we love it. I found the vase on, on Marketplace for five bucks. <laughs> the branches were from Amazon. And I found this corner hutch also on marketplace i did have to pay for that one i think it was like i don't know it was not expensive and we sanded it all down it was like an orange stained color sanded it down and then repainted we made some drop cloth curtains in here and also spray painted the window black and this wall was i mean this room was previously used as an office so um we took off the doors of each on each side um, and I really love it now because our both of our families separately have six people included uh, including us we have um, four other people <laughs> and so we would we're all able to sit around a table which I really appreciate um, coming out of the dining room this is just a sweet little I found this on super clearance at Michael's and added um, these flowers these are the same ones that were in my wedding bouquet. And then we use the magic light trick again here. This find your tribe and love them hard is from Hobby Lobby. And then entering into the guest room, this sweet sign is from Ebenezer Market. And as we go in the, um, this dresser is from, is like my baby furniture that was transformed <laughs> to not be my baby furniture. Uh, this room is just a room that anybody can come and stay in. We have used it as a couple things since we bought the house, but we really like it as a guest room. So this art ledge was made by a friend locally. Jonathan built the blanket ladder, the sconces I found at like Christmas tree shop. And Jonathan made that little jug into a lamp as well. So the bedding in here is from the Target magnolia line but great space we're grateful for it and then over here is the bathroom um, this is probably my least favorite room in the house right now and I had lots of plans to do lots of things in here but instead we bought chip <laughs> so again we have a 
sign from Ebenezer Market. If you don't know them yet, you definitely should. Greatest signs. Um, and eventually, I would love to vertical ship up the walls. I have stuff to paint over the teal on the tiles, but we just didn't get around to it. I did spray paint that faucet, but I bought a new one too, so we'll see. We're, right now, it works, and you don't need to spend a million dollars, ever. <laughs> so, we'll see. But, chip is still out. Chippy, would you like to go upstairs with me? Oh, you're so sleepy today. All right, guess not. I'll bring you upstairs on my own. One of the projects I would like to do is to rip out these stairs. Well, not the stairs, but the carpet and um, replace them with some, I have some really good ideas. So stay tuned for, for those. Up here is the master bedroom. Um, we have this rug is again from Boutique Rugs. And then one of the first things we did in this space was we shiplapped this accent wall. Um, it's the shiplap was, it came like this from Lowe's and um, was really easy to put up. The arches and the wreath are from Hobby Lobby and there's like a really bright spotlight behind that, <laughs> behind those windows, the, those curtains at night. So we basically always keep that closed. And then over here, um, Jonathan took this mirror that we had and he took the extra shiplap that we had and cut um, little slices of it and glued them all around to make this mirror. I really love it, I think it's beautiful. And then I have this little snake plant and it's real and I have to work on keeping it alive. And then we also have this little nook over here that I like. We, um, used peel and stick wallpaper for the back of it and just kind of layered it back. Um, and have kept it pretty much the same since we did that, but it's a cute little, I don't know what it's for. I don't know why it's there, but you know, old homes. And then out here we have our new accent wall. We got some family photos taken with Chip while we were on vacation a couple weeks ago and we were able to put it together into this cute gallery wall. Look at it. Wait, look at this one. Okay, are you getting? And then here's our um, master bathroom. It's not very master, but it works for us, it's beautiful, and we don't really need anything else right now. So I would like to get a Roman shade for right there, or like a woven shade. I like the idea of that. But this um, curtain is from the Magnolia line at Target again. Are you catching my drift? This room is just Chip's room right now. We haven't really created it into any space. It just holds kind of extra beds, um, but Chip hangs out in there when we go away. And outside of the bathroom is this mirror. Then I'll just take you downstairs so you can see a couple other details that I put. Um, this is one of my favorite wedding pictures and I love it because our photographer took the picture from behind us facing out so you can see our families behind us. And then the all, it all starts here sign is the motto from my hometown of Hopkinton um, because it's the start of the marathon. So there you have it. That is our house, a space that we love, an animal that we love, and is so sleepy. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. There'll be lots of projects coming up on the Cassidy house on Instagram. So keep up with us there. And, oh, Chippy, you're going to get up? Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is his favorite new thing, to go all the way behind the couch. Oh, I can't even see him anymore. I think it's dark and cold down there, so he likes it. <laughs> like me. I like it dark and cold, too. Anyway, 
any questions, reach out to me. We do lots of projects. I think I already said that. We have lots more coming. Stay tuned for the portico, for the stairs, for the eventual kitchen model and remodel. <laughs> model. And thanks for this opportunity to share my house. I'm so grateful. A big thank you to Colleen for opening up her beautiful home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration and new ideas, and I will see you guys later. Bye.